Winter storm watches were issued Tuesday afternoon for parts of North Central Florida. They could be expanded to include us here in Alachua County. We're watching this very closely. Winter storms are very tricky. We don't have to deal with them very often here in the south and east, but we are offering round the clock coverage on WRUF TV. Also on our Twitter account, the very latest. Uh, go ahead and follow us there for urgent updates uh, throughout the next 24 to 36 hours. What hasn't changed? We're missing the worst. All right. We've been saying that all along. Never was this storm supposed to hit us directly and absolutely never did we forecast a snowflake? This is more of an icing event that could take place and really calling it an icing event is a little bit too much. How about a spotty event with a little bit of ice out there? I mean, maybe some sleet accumulating on the roadways briefly and you'll probably see a little bit of glazing on trees and power lines. I'm talking to the I-10 corridor uh, specifically where the winter storm watches are in effect. This may sneak down and include us as well uh, by Wednesday morning. So the snow stays well to our north where it's colder upstairs and those flakes of snow will stay flakes of snow all the way to the ground. But we still have warm air above us here in North Florida. The cold air is going to sneak in underneath and that's why I've drawn the pink down right down the spine of the peninsula to about Alachua County and that's where there could be some ice. Once again, that is Wednesday night, especially late. The precipitation really started breaking out quickly during the day Tuesday and spreading north and east. This is a classic overrunning event. Cold air at the surface, the warm, moist Gulf of Mexico air moving over it and causing the array of precipitation, and it's going to really start to kick off late tonight. That's the rain part, all green on the map here through the day on Wednesday, so probably a steady soaking rain in the morning. It'll taper off by afternoon. I want you to watch, though. I'm going to pause this around 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow night. That's when another piece of energy comes out of the Gulf, and I think some of this rain is going to be a little further north and west, and this is the precipitation that might flirt with a little bit of sleet or freezing rain for us here in Gainesville. All right, here's what you need to know. We are fine on the roadways until these times. All right, that's hitting Valdosta during the day tomorrow up in South Georgia. Lake City tomorrow at midnight or Thursday at midnight. That's Thursday morning, Wednesday night. Thursday morning at 2 a.m. High Springs. Here in Gainesville, we think we're going to be close to the freezing mark late Thursday night, right before daybreak on Friday. Lake or Ocala, Marion County, don't have to worry about it. Roadway impacts. There could be some minor glazing, especially on elevated surfaces up near the I-10 corridor. Here in Alachua County, the only way we'll see anything stick to the ground is if it comes out of the sky in the form of sleet. And that could briefly happen right before sunrise on Thursday morning. Now, something else I want to tell you about the wind is probably the bigger story on your Wednesday. The wind chills. Look at these numbers. All right, that's 30 in the morning. That's 29 by noon. That's oh, OK. Back to 30 again by afternoon uh, Wednesday. It's going to be a rough day to be outside with rain and wind and actual temperatures in the 30s as well. I'll leave you with good news. We warm up by the weekend. What snow? What ice? What cold? 78 on Saturday. Mother Nature has some making up to do.